twin registries, what they are, uh, where they are, uh, how we constructed ours, and how you can get more involved in registries if, if you so like. First of all, twin registries are all over the world, uh, from Australia to Sweden, Sri Lanka, and in the United States, there are several. Um, uh, however, in Northern California, ours is the only one. Um, we constructed this, uh, well, I'll get to that in just a minute. There are different ways to, to build twin registries. You can do it either through community recruitment, which is what we did uh, over a period of many years. We advertised uh, for twin pairs. You can seek volunteers who are either healthy or have uh, some uh, disease that you're especially interested in. You can also uh, go to a pre-existing database such as birth records or the Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles to identify twin births and then follow them up. Each, diff, each one has a different pro and con uh, and related to the representatives of, of the samples, how well defined uh, the zygosity status is and so on. So now we have some, I think, really interesting opportunities for involvement in new studies here at SRI. And I'd really like to encourage, if you know of any twins, to uh, take a look at, at these opportunities. One is a, a study of the pain response and its effects uh, on uh, analgesia. I, it, it does hurt a little bit. <laughs> but, but, you can earn $200 and plus your travel. We have tested 100 twins, believe it or not, and we're still looking for another 150. It's a very interesting project and, and one we'd encourage you to take a look at. We also have, um, with Dr. Mark Davis at uh, the Department of Immunology, a, an interesting study involving a response to the seasonal flu vaccine. And it turns out, I was surprised when I heard about this, that we really can't predict, we don't know enough about the response to the flu vaccines that we get every year to really figure out or, or know in advance who's going to be a responder and who's not. So a lot of you who are out there getting your flu shots uh, may be responding, you may not. Uh, we just don't know enough about that particular uh, response and so we're looking for 265 twin pairs. This is going to be a study that will uh, extend over five years. And you, in this study, you can earn $90, up to $90, plus you get a flu shot. And then we're also in discussions with uh, other investigators involving the HIV vaccine, and then also the vaccine that's being uh, tested right now for the H1N1 uh, bug. And we're also following up uh, studies in nicotine metabolism. So with regard to our registry, I'll just have just a few more slides. We started in 1995. We're about 2,700 people strong now. 64% of them are MZ twins. 60% are female. It's the only registry in the, the San Francisco Bay Area. We've studied, as I've said, cancer biomarkers. Uh, we did an interesting study involving 3D facial recognition in identical twins sleep patterns, and something called pre-pulse inhibition, which is a measure of distractibility. This is the age and geographic distribution uh, in the Bay Area, as well as outside, really all over uh, California. And then our age groups, you can see represented here, um, the bulk being between the ages of 31 and 50. So the benefits to joining the twin registry are you make a contribution to science, you get incentives to participate, you get a chance to meet other twins, which is really important to twins, as it turns out. You get exciting newsletters, and we have, uh, we have a number of those. I think we have some outside. And importantly, all personal information is kept strictly confidential. And you get a birthday card every year because one of the other features is we, we work to maintain that registry. So we try to stay in touch with, with the twins over time. Here's how to join 1-800-SRI-TWIN. We also have a website. 
www.sri.com/twin.